Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Yang, and this is my colleague, Arnab. Today, we are going to talk about the MAST, a global machine learning training scheduler built by, by Meta. The success of machine learning applications has resulted in machine learning training becoming one of the fastest growing workload in today's data centers. And due to the high cost of GPUs, today both individual users and individual com uh, industrial companies heavily rely on the cloud to reduce the cost of training. For example, many of Meta's products rely on Meta's internal clouds to train different kinds of models. In such a geo-distributed cloud environment, since, <coughs> excuse me, since GPU is very expensive and the cross-region traffic is also very expensive, Meta requests that the input data of the and the computation of a training job must be co-located inside the same data center region to minimize GPU stores and cross-region traffic. However, relying a user to manually select a region to store the input data and to run the computation can often lead to suboptimal result. For example, in the past in Meta, user's manual selection can lead to a GPU demand over supply rate of 2.6 uh, in certain data center regions. And in public clouds today, people still need to make such manual selections most of the time, which means that uh, they are likely to meet similar problems. Today, with the introduction of MAST, Meta has successfully reduced the list rate to 0.98. To give a concrete example about how users' manual selection can lead to suboptimal result, let's suppose uh, we have three jobs. Job X has table one as the input and requires one GPU of type A. Okay. Job Y has table two as the input and also requires one GPU of type A. And job Z has table one as the input and requires one GPU of type B. And on the right side, let's suppose we have two regions. Region one has one GPU of type A and region two has one GPU of both types. In this simple example, uh, one can easily find that the optimum solution is to place table one in region two so that we can run both job X and job Z in region two. Then we can place table two in region one uh, and correspondingly place job Y in region one. This solution can fully utilize all the GPUs across different regions and it only needs to keep one copy of table one in region two. Okay. However, individual users are unlikely to make such an optimal decision. For example, let's suppose the user of job Y comes. She may find that both region one and region two are equally good because both regions have enough number of GPUs say, to run job Y. Now, if she decided to place table two and job Y in region two, it will create a problem later. Okay. Uh, now, first, keep in mind that job Z can only be placed in region two, since only region two has GPU B. Now, the problem is, well, can we place job X, right? So if we place job X in region two as well, obviously, this creates a load imbalance problem uh, because region one's GPU is not utilized. On the other hand, if we place job X in region one, uh, this strategy will maximize the utilization of GPUs but in this strategy, we will have to replicate table one because keep in mind that again, uh, for job Z, we have to place it in region two. Okay. As shown in this example, the key question this work tries to answer is that how can we place uh, different input tables and different training jobs in different regions to satisfy GPU data co-location while also maximize GPU allocation uh, as one can imagine, this is a complex optimization problem uh, with multiple constraints. And this problem is further challenged by the scale of Meta's infrastructure, which includes uh, millions of machines, hundreds of thousands of GPUs, and millions of tables. To answer this question, Meta has built MUST. With MUST, a user simply needs to submit her job uh, including the input table and the GPU demand to MUST. The user does not need to specify a region. Instead, MUST will select the region to store the input table and further select machines from those regions to run the job. Okay. 
And to achieve its goals, MAST relies on three key principles, temporal decoupling, scope decoupling, and exhaustive search. Temporal decoupling is motivated by two examples. First, as shown in the previous example, the optimum region to place a table often depends on many jobs, and thus the optimum region may change over time when we add new jobs to the system or add new hardware uh, to data centers. However, if we adjust a table placement on demand when we actually need to schedule a uh, corresponding job, then it would create an unacceptable delay to job execution, uh, as migrate tables could take hours or sometimes even days. Okay. The second problem is that, simply due to the scale of matters infrastructure, if a must has to select machines among all the you know, millions of candidates, then it will create a, a very large and thus challenging problem. To address these two problems, MAST's strategy is to optimize data placement and machine assignment proactively in a slow path, so that the fast path real-time scheduler can almost always leverage the result of the optimization. To be concrete, uh, MAST has a slow path component called Tartris, which uh, optimizes table placement in a daily manner. Though that Tartris is a very common name, uh, it is used in many other papers in prior works. Uh, this, this Tartris is Meta's internal product. Okay? Uh, so to be concrete, Tartris leverages information from uh, existing recurring training jobs, okay, so that Tartris can know their input tables and their GPU demand. Then with such information, Tartris can model the table placement as a mixed integer problem which basically includes a target function to minimize uh, and a number of constraints that has to be, has to be satisfied. Okay. So please refer to our paper for the detailed problem formulation. Here I'm just going to emphasize one key takeaway which distinguishes our work from prior ones. In our experience, we find that it's better to define the requirement of GPU as a soft goal which means that we should balance the GPU demand across different regions as much as possible. We find this works better than using a hard constraint saying in every region the GPU demand must be smaller than the supply. The reason is that the MIP problem is NP-hard, so we can only get approximate solution. This means that if we use the hard constraint approach, then GPU is likely to be underutilized compared to the optimum solution. Okay? And since GPU is very expensive, we don't want underutilization. Therefore, our strategy is to allow GPU overutilization in our problem formulation. And if overutilization indeed happens in practice, then we can always preempt low priority jobs. So this strategy allows us to maximize our GPU allocation rate. To address our second problem that there are too many machines to select from, uh, MAST relies on another existing component called RAS to pre-assign machines uh, to different applications. In this example, RAS can create two clusters for machine learning training and maybe one cluster for other purposes. Then, under this setting, MAST only need to select machines from those machine learning training clusters, uh, which significantly reduce the scales of the problem. And note that RAS can further adjust the size of each uh, cluster on demand based on certain criteria, okay? And uh, please refer to our SLSP21 paper for the details of the RAS, okay? Now I will switch to Arnab to talk about the details of the fast pass uh, real-time scheduling part. Thank you, Yang. So as Yang was mentioning earlier, MAST uses three key principles in order to solve the training data and compute co-location problem for GPUs at scale. We just talked about temporal uh, decoupling. Uh, the next principle is scope decoupling. If we look at the responsibilities of the real-time scheduling component, it has two main functions. The first one is queue management, where we have to assign priorities to both pending jobs and active jobs. And the second problem is resource allocation, where we have to find a bunch of machines for, for every single job in the queue. These tasks can be performed globally at each region or at each cluster. The traditional wisdom is that on the one hand, performing such tasks at a higher level 
will provide more information to provide a high quality decision, but it also creates a scalability problem for the centralized component. On the other hand, we can also dispatch such tasks to lower level components using heuristics. This approach may address the scalability problem, but may hurt the decision um, for the, may hurt the quality of the decision due to inaccuracy in heuristics. So MAST approaches this and takes a middle ground. It performs queue management at global scope since queue management is relatively lightweight. It performs resource allocation at regional scope to parallelize the tasks. Our evaluation shows that such a design has achieved a good balance between scheduling quality and scalability. So with that, we move on to our final principle, which is exhaustive search. Exhaustive search tries to answer the question that given a region, which, sorry, given a job, which region should we dispatch the job to? If a job's input table is stored in only one region, that problem is trivial. However, if Tetris decides to store a job's input table in multiple regions, then the real-time scheduler has to make a decision. There are two typical approaches to, to this. The first approach is to rely on heuristics, such as choosing the region with the smallest number of pending jobs. This approach is fast, but not accurate, especially since GPU scheduling is often, um, it often has multiple constraints, such as preemption, rack affinity, and so on. On the other hand, the exhaustive search approach asks every region to emulate resource allocation as if it was running the job. Then it can compare the concrete plans from different regions, and this approach is slower since it needs to consider all the details of resource allocation, but it is also more accurate. MAST has adopted the exhaustive approach due to the following observation. ML training jobs are often large and long, so they don't require a very high scheduling throughput. Today, MAST is scheduling hundreds of thousands of jobs every day, which, while it's large, it's not millions. So it's not very large. On the other hand, GPUs are super expensive, so we do want to ensure that all GPUs are utilized given sufficient demand. This is why MAST decided to take the exhaustive search approach, and in our experience, it provides a good trade-off between scheduling quality and scheduling throughput. To be concrete, when the global scheduler needs to schedule a job, it first finds all candidate regions which hold the input table for the job. If there's only one candidate region, the global scheduler simply chooses that region. If there are more than one candidate regions, the global scheduler asks every candidate region scheduler to provide an allocation plan. Then the global scheduler compares different plans to find the, find the best plan based on certain criteria. For example, if one region can allocate the job using free machines and the other region has to preempt an existing job, then the global scheduler prefers the plan that uses free machines. Please refer to the paper for all such criteria. Okay, let's put things together. MAST incorporates two slow path components to optimize data placement and machine assignment. Its fast path scheduling component applies some scope decoupling to maintain a global job queue, but performs resource allocation at the regional level. When a job has multiple candidate regions, it applies the exhaustive search principle to find the best region. Finally, to show some production data, uh, MAST has helped Meta achieve a GPU allocation rate of 98%. Though note that allocation is different from utilization as it depends on each user's ML training job and it's dependent on the job to determine how best to utilize the allocated GPUs. The training data and GPU non-co-location rate is below 0.1%, which shows that Tetris is very effective in placing training data. Our measurement also shows that the global and regional schedulers can scale to support 12 times the current workload, which should be enough for the near future. More details can be found in the paper. 
In conclusion, MAST was built to solve the training data and GPU co-location problem at scale for all ML training workloads at Meta. And using the principles of temporal decoupling, scope decoupling, and exhaustive search, MAST attempts to solve this problem. With that, we will open it up for questions.